That's the last part. Wisdom, wisdom from Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9. Part 4. Just come down a bit. It's sharp. Thank you. So we are going to read from 36 to 43. So once it's on screen, we all will rise and we'll read together. Is Brother Femi in church? Brother Femi gay. Okay, he was in church. I prefer the the way he he the picture of the recording in the first service was bigger than this. So please help her to this is too tiny. Help her with the, the picture. Thank you. You can do it better than that. Let's go to Acts chapter 9, 36 to 43. Put it on screen and I want everybody to rise so that we can read together. I'll read one verse, you take the other one. Let's be on our feet. And make sure you pay attention to today's lesson. Of very important. Very important. Very important. I read verse 36. At Joppa, there was a certain disciple named Tabitha, which is translated Dorcas. This woman was full of good works, pay attention, and charitable deeds, which she did. Now you read verse 37, that's your verse, let's go. But it happened in those days that she became sick and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in an upper room. I want to read verse 38. Verse 38. And since Lida was near Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent two men to him, imploring him not to delay in coming to them. Let's read. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he had come, they brought him to the upper room and all the widows stood by him weeping showing the tonics and the garments which Dorcas had made while she was with them they were crying and showing what she had made i read verse 40 but peter put them all out and knelt down and prayed and turning to the body he said tabitha arise and she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. You read verse 41. We we'll stop at 43. Let's go. Then he gave her his hands and lifted her up. And when he had called the saints and widows, he presented her alive. Wow. I read verse 42. And it became known throughout all Joppa. And many believed on the Lord. Can we read verse 43 together? One, two, three, and let's go. So it was that, has, that he stayed many days in Joppa with Simeon a toner. Father, we ask, speak to our hearts. Give us understanding again today. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And amen. Let's take our seats. I forgot to tell you, please. After this service, we are going for mass rally. We need every car, every member. We are going to go together. Carry as many people as you can. Let's go and distribute our ambulance. I know fuel is expensive. We will not go so far. Praise the Lord. But we'll just move around. Let's allow Jesus to use our cars. Amen. So I have four major lessons I will teach us in this service from this scripture we have read. How many? Four. You know, when I study this scripture... God was still telling me, we have something in Acts, this Acts 9. You know, we took two parts last week. We took one, this service, this in first service this morning. And this second one we are looking, this third, uh, second one we are looking at today is very, very uh, 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 powerful. Now, when Dorcas died, everybody believed that it was over. Abby? Yes, she's dead. Everybody believes that the end of every man's journey on earth is dead now. What's the end of everyone's journey on earth? So when a person dies, everybody believes that there is nothing after, now in the physical now, there's nothing after death. When in the spiritual, I know, a new journey begins. 
Now, and the first lesson God put in my heart for you is this. Take note. What people call the end may be the starting point of a new journey, especially if you don't give up in God. I come again. What people call the end. Anytime people are telling, it's finished for you. What you talk? Now, with God, if you have faith, nothing ends. So, are you hearing me? No matter what that, that event is, if you have faith in God, you, do not, you can never have a bad end. So, whatever people call the end may be the starting point of a glorious thing, especially if you don't give up on God. Now, God gave me this message for everyone that I is student. If you are a child of God, you are serving God, you are going through something, and it's looking as if, are you sure it is not finished for me? Check it, check what it turned for me by. Are you sure there is hope for me again? What next? I am tired. It's like I'm, listen, don't let the devil make you believe that it is over. The cast was dead. If you look at where we read, what he ate where, they have washed her. Now, what is supposed to be the next thing? Barrier. They didn't go to call Peter to come raise her. They went to call Peter for Peter to come and organize the service of her, her barrier service. That was what they, they, they sent, why they sent for Peter. But look at, because she was a believer, as Peter came in, I will still talk on that, she, he saw something. A new journey began. Peter knelt down and prayed for her. Dorcas was brought back to life. I pray in the name of Jesus. Every good thing in your life that is already dead. I speak life back to them in the name of Jesus. That's why do not allow your faith in God to expire. I purposely use the word expire because people allow their faith to expire. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing. Do you also know that faith is also killed by hearing and hearing? The way faith comes is the way faith can go. Now, and what do I mean? Who are those talking to you? What are the things you are opening your ears? So I've told you in our church before, there was a time I was having some symptoms of sickness. And the reason is because I've, I spent too much time counseling sick people. So when they come, Papa, Mosik, instead of me to just pray for them, Kilo Shei, ah, once I combine, two King Badura, I was telling them, okay, Bao Lo Shei Shei. I'm not a, a, a doctor now. Bao Lo Shei Shei, how is the thing doing to you? And they will tell me, sir, it will ring for me, ah, uh, will ring for me, in no room, a doctor there's okay, typhoid. Do you know that I later discovered I got to a point, what was happening to them, I started feeling it. Because of what I was hearing. Then it got to a point, one of our pastors came to see me. He said, sir, this book, I bought it many years ago. But now that you have taught me faith, I want to give you the book. So I collected the book. And what is the title of the book? Sicknesses and its Symptoms. So I started reading. I was reading and reading. I was reading thinking that I would gain knowledge. You know, so when people come to me, I will know what is happening to me. I'm not a doctor. But I discovered that it got to a point, all the things, the symptoms I was reading about, I started feeling it. It got to a point, you know, I, I, I said to myself, are you sure my kidney is not packing up? Because if I touch this place, it's paining me. If I touch this place, it's paining me. And I read the book, I see that that's a sign of kidney, whatever. I, you know, it got to a point, if you wee, if you wee in the night more than so, so and so time, it's a sign that your kidney. I started counting my wee. <laughs> it got to a point, my faith died, sir. I was going from clinic to clinic, running tests. I will run tests, they will say they didn't say anything. I would run tests. They would say they didn't say anything. Then I started going to pharmacies by myself. Give me antibiotics. Give me. There, there was no antibiotics I didn't buy. It got to a point I will finish Ciprotab. I will buy Augmentin. I will finish Augmentin. I will buy Zinat. I was just drinking and drinking until one day I went before the Lord. I was praying and asking God, Father, is it time for me to die? And if I will die, let me die in peace now. And God said to me, son, nothing is wrong with you. I said, then what about this symptom? He said, that book is what is wrong. Go and destroy it. So I took that book. The house I was living, there was no empty space where we could burn it. But I discovered we had the bomb vita container. I took the book, put it in the bomb vita container, put kerosene on it, set it on fire. God said, now, now that the book is burnt, begin to read my word. I started reading the Bible. Listen, if you believe, there is nothing you cannot enjoy from God. Look at John chapter 11. 
Let's take it from verse 39 to 44. If you believe, get way to enjoy the miraculous is faith. What people say is over. Listen, not with God. John chapter 11 from verse 39. Look at this. Look at this. Jesus said, take away the stone. Listen, Martha is the sister of him who was dead. Don't forget, he was already dead four days ago. Concentrate. He was already dead for four days. Had been buried. Martha, the sister of him who was dead, said to him, Lord, by this time, there is a stench. Ah, any atima anusa. Four days ago, that is saying. But look at the response of Jesus our Lord. Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you what? If you would believe, you will see the glory of God. So, what is gateway to the glory of God? Is belief, faith. If you have faith, what will you see? Glory of I didn't hear you. What will you see? Glory of God. So that something ends does not physically does not mean it has ended. And let's read on. Let's read on. I didn't, I didn't finish. We'll stop at 44. He said, Did I not tell him? Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying. And Jesus lifted his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. Faith, I thank you you have heard me. And I know that you always hear me. But because of these people who are standing by, I say this, that they may believe that you sent me. And what did he say? He now commanded Lazarus who had been buried four days ago, come back! to life now what am i telling you what am i saying what people call the end may be the starting point of a glorious beginning especially if you don't give up in god what you think is your major setback may be the starting point of a new season if you don't give up in god Dorcas was dead and was already washed for burial Listen, O oh child of God, I wrote here, never conclude that it is finished for you no matter what. Now, look at Mark. Mark chapter 5, another one. Mark 5, 30 to 34. The miracle of that woman with the issue of blood. Look at this. Mark chapter 5, 30 to 34. That woman, nobody prayed for her. She had that Jesus was coming. But she believed, which means that even without anybody praying for you, if your faith is intact, look at this. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, Who touched me? Hello, welcome, you know. Who touched me? Who touched my clothes? Read on. But his disciples said to him, You see the multitude thronging you, and you say, Who touched me? You see the multitude. Everybody is touching you. But you know what Jesus was saying? There was a particular touch with a difference. Anything you touch by faith produce something different. Say it is not over for me. Ah, it's not over. And he looked around to see her who had done this thing. I want you to see the statement of our Lord Jesus. He looked around to see her who, she, who, who have done this. But the woman fearing and trembling. Knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. What did Jesus now say in verse 34? Look at what Jesus our Lord said in verse 34. And he said to her, daughter, what happened? Your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. What made her well? Her faith. So never believe it is over. Let your faith in God be very solid. That's the first lesson. Second lesson. Second lesson. From that story we read, write it down this way. The voice of the widows in verse 39 stirred up the anointing in Peter. Acts chapter 9 verse 39. The voice of the widows in verse 39 stirred up the anointing in Peter. And I wrote here, beloved, do you know that your kindness has a voice? Your kindness has voice. Show me that scripture. The woman was already dead. They have washed her. They wanted to bury her. But the people that enjoyed her kind act. You know how we started? The Bible says she was good with giving alms. She was good with being, she was being a nice person. 
Look at this. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he had come, they brought him to the upper room and the widow stood by him weeping, showing the tunics and the garments which Dorcas had made while she was... Look out. Look, look, look. Look, look. They were saying, look, look, sir. Oh, God, see. Oh, God, see what she did. Your kindness has a voice. So the thing about she that's why some people don't care I will show you some scriptures this morning you are a blessing in church you are a blessing to people in your, in, in your environment you don't know that all these things you are doing it has a voice a time will come that it will speak for you that's why I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus, that you catch the fire of showing kindness. Amen. It's a fire you must catch. If you catch it, you will enjoy it. Let me show you two, two examples of two different people apart from Dokas. In Acts chapter 10, 1 to 4. The second one is Isaiah 38, 1 to 5. Acts chapter 10, 1 to 4. Your kindness has a voice. Your kindness has a voice. I read. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Collinius, a centurion of what was called the Italian regiment. Move on. Move on. A devout man, one who feared God with all his household. Who did what? Who gave alms generously to people and prayed to God. That was his lifestyle. He didn't know that this thing was doing will do anything. But he was just giving arms to people, giving arms to people, you know, and praying to God. Look at verse 4. This was his lifestyle. It was not the day he started that he got any result. Of, but look at verse 4. About so okay, I'm in verse 3. About the ninth hour of the day, he saw a clearly, he saw clearly in a vision an angel of God coming in and saying to him, Colinius. The angel called him and said, Colinus. And when he observed him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? So he said to him, Your what? Let's read together. One, two, three, and let's go. Your prayers and your what? And your arms have done what? Have come up for, for a memorial. You know what's a memorial? It has pumped up again. He adrua tongba ati retonshi oti wa. This is New Testament. It's not Old Testament. Because some of you are just listening to people on Facebook. Facebook is not your church. Don't give to God. Don't give to church. Don't give to people. Don't give, don't give, don't give. Don't. That's what they are. Hey, your pastor is using your money to ride Jeep. That's what they are telling you. But look at Colinius. The angel said to him, the arms that you have been given has come up as a memorial. Which means your good works, your kindness has a voice. Do you have any kind act that will speak for you later in future? Some doesn't even have. Because as long as me have eating, me I'm living fine. As long as I'm doing what I'm doing well. I met a man of God many years ago with one of my friends. This man had an accident and his spinal cord was broken. So people gathered money for him. They took him to Israel for operation. That that's the only place they can do his operation. While they were doing the operation, he died. He said he saw himself going. I'm telling you true life story. I sat down with the man of God. He said he saw himself going as he was going, as he was going. He saw some women. They were crying on the mountain praying mentioning his name, that he is their helper of destiny. He has been a blessing to their lives. This man must not die. This man was, must not. He said he was going. Those women, he saw those women praying. As he was just, he passed by them and was going. He said, and a voice said, will I not hearken to these women? She said, young man, go back. And he woke up. And he was healed. Your kindness has a voice. The same thing. Your wickedness has a voice. I bet you that you do and Gomorrah and kill alone. So only be you are Buburu. What is dear to me? Long. That 
That's why I always say to people, see, if you cannot be a blessing in church, don't be, don't be a, a problem in church. Because the day of judgment. So the angel said to him, Colinius, it has come up as a memorial. Now let's, let's learn from that of Isaiah. Isaiah 38, 1 to 5. Isaiah 38, 1 to 5. Be fast about it. Be fast. Be fast. We don't have all the time. Thank you. In those days, look at this one too. Hezekiah was sick and near death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, went to him and said to him, Thus says the Lord, set your house in order, for you shall, for you shall die and not live. Imagine when a true servant of God comes to you and says, He didn't come to collect money. He just said, God has said, I should come and tell you, you shall die, prepare your house. What are you supposed to do normally? What you will say is, he's a, he's a man of God, Abby. Genuine. He didn't come to ask for money. He said, I should prepare my house. If I'm you, what will you be doing? You'll be preparing your house. But Hezekiah did not do that. Then Hezekiah turned his face towards the world and did what? And prayed to God. Let's look at the content of his prayer. Because if you stop there, oh see Badua see all oh yeah, yeah, Badua, ah, la dua ni ogari no irony. Adua egbo do ni nkonto to dimu. Now ejeka wo adua to ba. What did he say? His prayers and said, what did he say to God? Remember now, Oluwa nanti. Oh Lord, I pray. How I have walked, be moshe tiri. Before you, ni waju ni. In truth, need no no lot it all, and with a lawyer at per luo kan inu kan, and I've done what is good in your sight. Most is he shen told there any wa juni. Look at that, and it's a guy. Wait, 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 don't don't remove this one. You see that wept was the last, Abi, because somebody will be saying, "O mi je uju mi imbere ya nu, O mi je uju e ole she anything." To bat is sukuso lo lo no adam wa do e irony. Look at what he quoted. Uluwa will be Moshe Tinri. Uluwa Ranati. Your kind act is a voice. Oh yeah, go to verse 4. Verse 4. And the Lord said, and the Lord came to Isaiah saying, yes, verse 4, saying, what did he say? Go back. Go and tell Ezekiah. Thus says the Lord. The God of David your father. I have heard your prayers. Can you see? I have seen your tears. Can you see? Surely I will add to your days. How many? 15 years. You know, some pastors will just take verse 5. And Uluwalo Mboadwai also read Kunle. But you know that the main thing are the one in at the middle. Hello, meet you in the record of any act of kindness. Our Lord, Master, we see what you are doing. Ah, we are doing monsoon, we are shallow, me monsoon, monsoon. Your tears has nothing to do. But go and be involved in kind acts, sir. Look up, look at me. I've been a pastor. Preaching this gospel from age 15. Mukwe 49 years. Ni jeta. She jeta ko abi. Oni jomandi ni. Sorry. Listen. All my life. Mude in finu kanshe. I'm not doing it for money. I'm not doing it because I want. Somebody be, somebody should like me. No, 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 no. If you see me. Ask my wife now. If you see me studying the Bible. You look as if. If I don't do it, somebody will beat me. I want, I want God to use me to feed these children. And sir, ma, I will tell you the truth. God is taking care of me. We were in a conference call yesterday. Somebody we were talking with. And he said, and I asked my wife. I just put my wife on the call. And he said, Pastor. She must let me see how my wife said. The joint prayer, I want to be. I think 
Bekoa, Canada, Latin last year. Bewon. Okay, in fact, in your bye bye bye, Nikama Sofu, Kama Sofu, Pastor, we Oma saw a ticket once, see. On Batina de Atua. Some of you are in Canada, I mean, you lay. And my wife said, okay, I will convince him before he's 58 so I can come. I say, I yeah. say, seek for the kingdom of God is righteousness. See, what will happen? All other things shall be added. Your kindness. When they were gossiping Moses, his brother and sister, what did Moses, what God, God say? He, he called Miriam. He called Adrian. He said, see, this Moses is different from you. He's faithful to me in all my house. So if you don't even know that your work in church, your work for God in church has a voice. So when they rebuke some of you, there's this man that does a Ah, time. That this man that, that does a uh, choir training online. I watched for the first time. My wife used to give his videos to my, to my daughter. So I watched his, uh, his uh, message. He was now telling one experience in church that there used to be a sister in their church. I don't know the name of that, past, that man. Bolu, concentrate. That there used to be a sister in their church. If this sister should sing, sir, it's like heavens are open. So every time Pastor will say, Sister so so and so must lead praises. Sister so so and so must lead the one to praise. Sister so so and so. So, whenever there's a guest speaker, there's convention like this, is that sister that will lead praise. He said, And the way God bless her with voice, her voice doesn't use to fail. So, one day, one guest speaker came to sing. And the pastor said, Let Sister so and so lead praise before Pastor comes up. The, the sister sang powerfully and the pastor now requested for her that please we are going to have a program in our church we need this sister to come and lead us good opportunity Abby. the sister went there and led powerfully so one particular day she came to church she changed the way she was dressing and came and the pastor said sister so this is not the way you used to dress please you can't go to the altar this way and the sister said, if you will not allow me to sing like this, then I'm leaving. And the pastor said, well, they missed her. There was nobody that could replace her. The pastor said, I won't confess her like dear. But you might change. Ah, sister, there's a Bible. But she learned here. Because I'm not going to be if she gets that I won't come and be. So church in Lolo. That Sunday, they didn't allow her to sing. Second Sunday, she didn't sing. Third Sunday, she didn't sing. Fourth Sunday, she could she didn't sing. One month, they said there's a roster for singers. The brother now said she saw her one year after. Sister, where are you now? He said, I don't know. Her voice was gone. In the song ministry, she's no longer there. Okay, Mama said she will send it to the choir platform. Listen, it is consistency that makes the voice of your kindness to speak. Be consistent. Ah, we are quiet. Is it? Okay, thank you, ma'am. Quickly, let's run to number three. There's no time, there's no time, there's no time. The third lesson I also learned is in verse 38. Let's look at verse 38. In verse 38, write this down. The kind of people you put around yourself can either drown or set you up for miracles. Who are your friends? Who are those around your life? Look at verse 38. Acts 9:38. I read, I read again. The kind of people you put around your life can either drown or set you up for a miracle. Look at what happened. And since Lydia was near Joppa, and the disciples heard that Peter was there, what did they do? 
they sent two men to him, imploring him not to delay in coming to them. After she had died, the people around did not agree to bury her. The people around said, go and call Peter. Go and call Peter. Compel him that we need his attention urgently. Which means she had people of faith around her life. Listen, I have always said that as believers that we should build a team. Listen, to build a team that I call a community of faith around ourselves. Let's build that team. And I'll keep saying it. Are you born again? You want to end well? Build a community of faith around you. You know, it was this morning I was, I was, ah, I, was, I came to church, I was seated here and I, was, I just thought of my wife and I said, ah, and we tried to. How many years have we, have we lived in Lebu now? Is it five, about five years? And we, we have assignment at Liberty Road. The distance is almost one hour plus. I'll be my dick. With our road, that is bad. And we have never been absent, neither have we been late. To the point that our work will suffer. If I am like weak, she gingers me. If she's weak, I ginger her. Who are the people around your life? I'm a king of Binusi, when I'm a Binusi church, I'm a Binusi mentor. I'm invited to come and preach in church. I invited him to come and preach in our church. I'm going to the backyard. I'm going to go to the soccer week at the church. I was like, to tell any mentor me in the program, minister's conference. One lawn will come and be a bit church in one way. And you're going to come and be a church to a lane pulley. And you're going to be a little bit. And you're going to be a little bit number one. Church says, she mama fully so can we get to the The only thing to come, Kuni, because you can't get me. Can I look at me? Binuchi, be me near. As a parish service, bad lolly, motion dilly, mumbo, suits me pay. My wife was asking me, how was the conference? And I was telling her, if I may, law program here, mon lie lie. She mo came in, mentor me, if him preach. You know what my wife said? My wife said, she'll pardon. A young giddy will not live with me. Esa, if you are Nananians, don't allow your wife to be a Sapphira. We have sold the land. Let's go and lie to the church that that's not the amount. Don't, don't raise a wife that will always be support. I, my wife will, if I say I'm going to hell, my wife will support me to go to hell. My own wife will never agree. So my wife said, he, he didn't lie now. Honey, if you look at what he said, he's telling us the truth. Ejeka wa no move forward in kanto bi bi ne. It's a community of faith. Who are those around your life? They will have buried Dokas. If you had bad people around her, people without faith, a woman who put out a lot of money, you have to sing Kanta Masin. So we begin to say, come on, born again, what you did about, what you want to share with your baron from one day, she put out more. Oh, go, Lee, as I'm going to say, oh, go, Lee, but I couldn't put us anymore. I feel a feeling, I feel a human law. Your kind of friends will determine your speed in life. Listen, the people that surround, sorry, where, where am I? The people she surrounded herself with did not agree to bury her. They sent for Peter instead, and I wrote here, 
plug yourself to a community of faith the moment you find one. The moment you find a group of, plug yourself to their group. This, uh, I, 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 I've been, in, I told you, I gave my life to Christ at the age of 15. I received my call to minister at the age of 16. I started pursuing the Lord since then. Sir, I have seen how people do when they want to backslide. The first thing is that they put up a nature that nobody can talk to them. And they will be ready to respond to you if you try to show them their fault. Once they're at that point, they are getting close. And you know the devil is very fast in stalking. He has never changed his pattern until now. What led to the fall of King Saul? Fast. Let's see whether this time we allow us. In 1 Samuel chapter 13, verse 10 to 14. 1 Samuel 13. 10 to 14. It will be King Saul. King Saul. Now it happened. As soon as he finished presenting the burnt offering, that Samuel came and Saul went out to meet him, that he might greet him. He went to greet him. Next verse. Next verse. And Samuel said, what have you done? Saul said, look at this. He said, when I saw the people, when I saw that the people were what? Scattering from me. And that you did not come within the days appointed. And that the Philistines gathered together at Michmash. Can you see? I saw the people scattering. When they saw the Philistines gather, my own people were scattering. My own people did not stay with me. For Kinshi community of it. And because they did not stay with me, I just had to do something. And the something he did was stupid. Next verse. Then I said, the Philistines now come down on me at Gilgal, and I have not made supplication to the Lord. Therefore, I felt compelled and offered a burnt offering. Next verse, verse 13. Fast, 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 fast. Verse 13. And Samuel said to Saul, you have done foolishly. You have not kept the commandments of the Lord your God, which he commanded you. For now, the Lord will have what? Establish your kingdom over Israel forever. If you have not made this mistake, your kingdom will have been established forever. But what will now happen? Now that you have made the mistake in verse 14, but now your kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought for himself a man after his own heart and the Lord has commanded him to be commander over his people because you have not kept what the Lord has. Now what led to his fall? The people that he put around himself were not community of faith. It was not a community of faith. So when they saw the enemies advancing, all of them were saying, Jeff, it's all the same. Yeah, 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 Sir, don't go to the battle anymore. You stay at home. Let us go. Who is your friend? Verse 40. You hear me? Verse 40. Let's take the last one. Number four. Write this down. God. Verse 40 reveals to us that God indeed answers prayers. Peter prayed. When you humble yourself to sincerely pray to God, he will answer you. That's our fourth lesson. The Bible says Peter knelt down in verse 40. He knelt down and began to, have you prayed about that issue? We were with somebody on Saturday. The man said he wanted to buy a particular land. He got to the land. He said, Pastor, look at what God did for me. He got to the land at Olioli, at the center of Olioli. He said, the man that wanted to sell the land said he would sell it for uh, uh, 30 or 35 million. He said, he told the man, what I have is 25 million. He said, the man said, no, I cannot sell. He said, he went back to his prayer place and he began to pray. He said, he now told God, Father, if you are in control, the art belongs to you. Put your hand upon it. Nobody will buy it. Do you know what? The man said, after two months, the seller did not get anybody to come for the land. He called him. After two months, and that land we talked about, are you still interested? 
Hey, he said, I'm interested, but my money is not in com complete. Okay, how much do you have? He said, I can get 15 million naira now and pay 10 million naira later. He said, come, let's talk about how you pay the 10 million later. He has bought the land. Oh, yes, he answers prayer. I say, oh, yes, he answers prayers. The Lord I serve answer prayer. Only Jesus. To round up. Simple tips on giving you should know. I'll tell you just three and we close. Simple tips on giving you should know. Give because you want to be a blessing. Not because you want anything. Now, the first truth I want you to know about giving is give to be a blessing. Don't be doing trade by butter kind of giving. You are giving because you want to win people somebody's favor. You are giving because you want them to like you. No, no, no. That kind of giving doesn't attract reward. How should you give? Number one, give because you have just decided to be what? A blessing. That kind of giving is established in the spirit. Number two, give, cons sorry, be consistent in your giving. Don't let it just be occasionally. Let it be your lifestyle. Be consistent with it. You have a dedication to give, to make. And three, don't wait until it is big. A lot of people miss it because they wait for when it is big. I'll start blessing lives when it is big. I'll start giving when it is big. Start and continue with what you have. Now, when giving becomes like that, it attracts the blessing. The life of Dorcas is the perfect example that I want you to learn from. What are the four things? Number one, what's number one again? What people call the end, maybe the starting point of a new glorious beginning. Number two, the voice of of the widows. That means your, your kindness has a voice. Number three, the kind of people you put around yourself can either drown you or set you up for a miracle. Number four, God indeed answers prayers. In the name of Jesus, you'll become the next miracle to celebrate. Your prayers are answered in the name of Jesus. So go and put these principles to work. Return with testimonies. Let's prepare for the education. If you are clapping, clap. Choir, please come and lead us.